This is the Aromatic Wisdom Podcast, Episode 20. In today's show, I'm going to be chatting again with our friends Christina Bauer and Angela Emke. They are executive producers of an upcoming documentary on aromatherapy, and they're going to tell you how you can become a part of aromatherapy history. You're listening to the Aromatic Wisdom Podcast with your host, Liz Fulcher. If you're interested in learning about essential oils, hearing interviews with industry experts, and discovering ways to grow your own aromatherapy business, this is the podcast for you. For more information and show notes, visit the website at aromaticwisdominstitute.com. Now sit back, relax, take a deep breath, and enjoy as Liz shares a dose of aromatic wisdom. Hi, everyone, and Happy New Year. Is it too late to say Happy New Year? Hmm. Well, I'm saying it even though it's the end of January because this is my first podcast of 2016. So I'm saying it. Happy New Year. My name is Liz Fulcher. I am your host for the Aromatic Wisdom Podcast. And thank you so much for being here with me today. It's so nice when I get emails from people uh, saying how much they enjoy the podcast. And that's great because then I know people are really listening and I'm not just sitting here chatting with my cats. So today's podcast episode is going to be great, and it's a little different. It is going to be longer than I usually do. I Generally, my podcast episodes are about half an hour. This one is going to probably be about an hour, and it's going to be totally worth it. So if you go back and listen to episode 17 of this podcast, that's aromaticwisdominstitute.com forward slash 017, you'll hear um, an interview I gave with these two extraordinary women, Christina Bauer and Angela Emke, and they're the executive producers of an aromatherapy documentary called Uncommon Sense, S-C-E-N-T-S. And in that interview, we talked for you know a long time about, about what will happen in the movie, what will the impact be on our industry, kind of what we can expect from the movie. It's really, it was great, great foundational interview. Well, I chatted again with them a couple of days ago and asked them for an update on the project. So... The big news is that they now have a crowdfunding campaign in place to start raising money so that this project can happen. This is huge. This, you know, any an, an endeavor of this uh, magnitude takes money. They are making a movie for heaven's sakes. And and it's really their vision that this be a community event. They are looking to you guys for assistance, for support to promote it, to help fund it. This belongs to the aromatherapy community. This isn't their film. This is a film for the aromatherapy community. Anyway, I'm going to get on, I'm starting to get on my soapbox because I get really excited about this. I'm going to let you uh, listen to the interview where Angie and Christina articulate beautifully what the, you know, project is about and specifically what's happening with the crowdfunding campaign. And the really cool thing is that you get amazing perks, amazing gifts, if you will, when you contribute toward the film. One of those perks is a bundle by Aromatic Wisdom Institute. That's moi. And I have several ebooks that I've written. I have a an ebook called How to Clear Negative Energy with Essential Oils how to design your aromatherapy vision board so that you can obtain your aromatherapy goals in life. And then I have another one. It's a green cleaning course. It includes an ebook and a webinar and slides from the webinar. So I put these three products together in a bundle. And when you contribute $100 toward the film, you get the bundle. And of course, this is my gift to the project. I'm not receiving any money for that. So that's just one example of the kind of perks you can expect when you go to the crowdfunding page. You can see all the goodies on there and what you'd get when you contribute. The other thing that I'd really like to stress is that this project, this film, needs $60,000 minimum to get off the ground. And that is why I say let's hit this uncommon goal together because without the minimum of $60,000, the project's not going to happen. There are no perks. There is no film. So go ahead and listen to the interview now with these ladies, and hopefully this will really inspire you to take some action and, and, you know, contribute a dollar or two dollars or five or a, or a thousand, whatever you feel motivated to do. Every little bit helps. And if you'd like to pop over straight away, uh, to the crowdfunding page where you can contribute, the URL is bit.ly.com. 
that's b i t l y dot com forward slash uncommon sense movie. And sense is spelled s c e n t s. Bitly dot com forward slash uncommon sense movie. Okay, I have said enough and probably said too much. I'm going to hush now and let you enjoy listening to Angie and Christina talk about the film and the crowdfunding campaign and all the exciting perks that are just waiting for you to scoop up. Oh, and FYI, the recording was done、um, on my phone, and it's a little bit bumpy in the beginning, a little bit crackly. And it's、uh, just hang in there because it really does get better. And if you just need to turn up the volume on your On your device to hear it, go right ahead. All right, I know you'll enjoy this, and I'll see you on the other side. And here we are. I am so blessed to be spending time again with Angela, MK, and Christina Bauer. These two brilliant minds were behind the the upcoming film Uncommon Sense, the documentary aromatherapy movie. Ladies, a lot has happened since you and I sat down together back in the AIA in, in September, hasn't it? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, back then it was just a really good idea. So,、um, why don't you just catch us up on sort of what's happened since then? Just give、mm-hmm. us a little overview. Okay.、Um, I think the first thing it's important to say is that we were really fortunate to have been so well received at AIA, and it put in motion a lot of encouragement and enthusiasm from the community.、Uh, I had scheduled to attend a couple of classes in the later fall, where some of the folks who were introduced to the film at AIA got very excited about being able to kind of raise more awareness for the film. And so that jumped into they spearheaded some、uh, auctions and some other fundraising things to be able to accelerate our process to kind of get us ready to produce what would eventually be our pitch video and begin、wow. to launch the platform for for crowdfunding. And so out of nowhere, what was supposed to be、um, uh, basically workshops and coursework became quite the exercise in uh, in uh, in crowdfunding and kind of grassroots. <laughs> uh-huh. Grassroots uh, uh, launch for the for the film itself. So in Atlanta, Mark Webb helped us to work with the folks at the Heal Center, including a woman named Roz Zollinger and her son Michael, who、um, allowed us to, on top of Mark's class, conduct a Q and A panel where some of the students and some of the community members could ask questions of individuals like Gabriel Mojé and Marge Clark and Silla Shepard Hanger and Mark Webb himself. Wow. And we had our film crew there to be able to record some of their responses to those questions. And the idea was that we would hopefully be able to share that some of it in the pitch video, and also、um, to kind of raise some enthusiasm and excitement about the film. There was also money raised in addition to the Q and A panel through some silent auctions that Mark did with some amazing、uh, essential oils and CO twos he had brought along from Australia. Gabriel Moje and Silla did the same thing in Tampa, actually, where Gabriel's.、Um, I don't know if you're familiar with his. He does these beautiful、uh, aromatherapy sonnets that he marries with some stunning photographs that he's taken, and he had those framed sonnets along with the with some images he had taken that he also auctioned. There was、uh, a bunch of stuff from Atlantic Institute, Nissa、wow. Hanger from Upward Spiral. So the bottom line is they they raised quite a bit of money to help us to kind of push forward. Towards launch, which of course is、uh, is happened earlier this week.、Um, so now we have a beautiful pitch video、uh, that incorporates a few of the voices that we interviewed there, along with Robert Tisserand and Michelle Lee, whom we visited in California. And、um, pitch video really is is it's an introduction to us and kind of a high level introduction to what we hope the film、uh, can begin to speak to. The challenge. Honestly, for us, so much we want to say about this film and what we think it can do, and we probably could have made a two-hour movie about making <laughs> why we want to make the movie.、Sure. So we did our best to kind of reveal some tidbits that we thought people would be interested to hear more about, and that is now available to、uh, for everyone to see in conjunction with the campaign on Indiegogo. Nissa Shepard, Stella Shepard's daughter. Mm-hmm. Did a really good blog post about that experience. Did you? I don't know if you saw it. It was just posted a couple of days ago on January nineteenth 
on the Atlantic Institute of Aromatherapy website. Yes. We actually okay. linked to it today. We we were uh, talking back and forth about when they were planning on sharing it, and uh, and we saw it go live this morning. So we okay. have, we have uh, provided it. It's available on our Facebook page through the Atlantic Institute's blog. We're really touched by the piece that she produced, and I think, you know, I, I don't want to put words in Angie's mouth, but I, I think I can speak for both of us at the level of saying we were deeply moved to see how, how personally she communicated why she's enthusiastic about this film and what this what this film can do. Yeah, absolutely. And so we also included like the hashtag we're all in this together and that's really important to us that this is for the community and that blog post was just really a remarkable reminder for everybody that reads it that we are, you know, aromatherapists together. Yes. Yeah, and I I learned a lot by reading it. It is extremely well done, and I will put, um, of course, I'm going to put lots and lots of links in this particular episode because there are tons of things to be shared and for the listeners to learn from, and one is this Atlantic Institute blog post. Mm-hmm. So I was thrilled to pieces when I saw that. Everyone is so stinking behind you. It's on, I mean, it's just the support is coming out of the woodworks. People are just really, really on board with this project. Mm-hmm. Christina, I'm sorry, I wanted to just take you back again uh, up to the pitch video. Mm-hmm. Where can people see that? That is available to be seen on our Indiegogo campaign page. The okay. easiest way to find it, I can give you the link um, so that it can go up along with the podcast, but the easiest way to find it is to use the short link, which is bit.ly backslash Uncommon Sense Movie. Oh, I love Bitly. Yes. I'm so <laughs> glad that you have that short link. And that takes them to the Indiegogo page, which I'm on yes. right now. I have it here yes. in front of me. So it's bitly.com, B-I-T, period, L-Y, backslash, Uncommon Sense Movie? Movie. Mm-hmm. Okay, beautiful. And Actually, I do see the, the video right there. So, all right, so you've got such a great foundation going. Now you've got the crowdfunding happening. When the three of us started this dialogue, I had to Google crowdfunding because Mm. I really wasn't sure what it was. So can you say in a nutshell, kind of what is crowdfunding? What is a crowdfunding campaign? Mm -hmm. $60,000 is our base goal. We need to reach $60,000 to get any of the money. Um, And in addition to, you know, people contributing to us, they're getting perks in exchange. Now, some people are just being super generous and giving us money without claiming a perk, and that's awesome, too. But we do want people to claim perks because we feel, you know, we've really talked to a lot of people, including you, Liz, and thank you for your generous contribution of your e-book bundles from Aromatic Wisdom Institute. They're hot right now. A lot of people are picking those up, so um, it's great to have those. So for someone to give us a perk that's valued at or even better, than the money that they're contributing. Right. So your bundle, with everything that we put with it, is worth more than $100. So people give us $100, they're going to get something that's worth even more. So that's how our perks work right now. And really it's about the community. We want the community to support this. This is a film for our community. It's a, it's a film for even people that are not aromatherapists, but people that like aromatherapy, that like essential oils. And we just want the crowd to help rally behind this. Production companies aren't searching for a movie on aromatherapy. They don't know that the community needs it. And so seeking the crowd's help to support this industry. And we really only need right now 2,500 people to contribute what's equal to a half a bottle of lavender essential oil. Wow. 2,500 people. And there are thousands and thousands of people in the aromatherapy world, mm-hmm. and, and not to mention those other the herbalists and all the people who are not aromatherapists who would be very interested in this film as well. People in the plant world, anyone who's mm-hmm. interested in plants and the plant medicine. Yeah. So, so you started the okay. So you've got this crowdfunding project where you're trying to basically reach as many people with uh, small increments of money to reach your goal of sixty thousand. That's your minimum goal, right? Sixty grand. Yes. I love on the Indiegogo page that you have a graph on there of of where this money's going to go, that it's mm-hmm. for business and legal fees and pre-production and crowdfunding costs and so forth. And you've got these graduated cylinders with essential oil in them to measure 
the percentages, which I thought, I think this is a brilliant graphic. Whoever came up with that, it's so clever. <laughs> it really is great. Okay, so people can contribute money in lots and lots of ways. So A, they can just send money if they want to. B, they can send money and get a perk. Yes. Yeah. How many perks do you have and ha and how often will they be, I don't know, renewed? Is that the word? You know, I know that you've got, you're going to be continually adding to them. Is that correct? That's correct. I think um, uh, I love that you asked us this because we are at the time that we're recording this. We've had some some challenges with the with the platform that we're navigating through with Indiegogo. We do have more perks in the background and more perks coming in. We try where we can to coordinate featuring the perk with conversations we're having or announcements we're making about participants because some of them are directly related. Um, we have a couple of secrets, you know, up our sleeve <laughs> and some things that are coming down the down the pipe um, in coming weeks that we hope can, can keep the campaign kind of invigorating and keep people engaged with it. They will continue to change as the as individual perks sell out. The idea is that we will move a new perk into that same slot so that we always have various things at different levels that are available for folks. And we've been really fortunate. People have been very generous in just contributing directly to the campaign. But we also That's really hope wonderful. that people are sharing uh, the information about the perks that are there because m most everything that's offered is offered well below what it would normally cost to uh, to access it. And as much as we're grateful to have people who are just, you know, giving us the money directly, uh, at the same time, we also are really eager for the folks who support the film to be able to connect with the perk that is a great deal and also gives something back to them for their contribution to us. Yeah, absolutely. Um, ladies, if someone is on the Indiegogo site and they're looking at all the different perks and they have a question about one of the perks, mm -hmm. how would they get that question answered? Well, they can message, uh, they can message to me. I mean, I'm identified as the campaigner. This is Christina. Um, okay. And so they can message me through Indiegogo. They can place a comment, although it may be easier uh, if someone really is asking about an individual perk. They might not want to let everybody know that they're thinking of grabbing it, especially if there's only one of it. Yeah, absolutely. So I would encourage uh, someone to either send me a message. They're welcome to email the film, which is info at uncommonsensemovie.com. And there's okay. always our Facebook page. We're happy to, you know, communicate through the messages there as well. And I'll put all those links in the show notes for this episode. Mm -hmm. So um, I wanted to clarify something. What I see about the perks, are they listed from from the um, most affordable, it's like there's a $5 essential oil, up to the most generous? Is that correct? Mm-hmm. That That's okay? true. That, that typically, the featured perk, we do occasionally feature a perk because yep, I see we're having there. a conversation at a higher level either uh, that's somehow connected to it. Right. Uh, so the featured perk will be up top, and then below that, the list, if you scroll down, the list begins yes. at the $5 shout-out contribution and goes all the way to whatever the highest current perk listing is. Perfect. We encourage people that want perks, they should find the perk they want and click directly on it to grab it. Ah, or okay. they can scroll all the way to the bottom, which is a ways, <laughs> to <laughs> click select a perk and they can do it from there as well. It's important that people know that if they click the pink button contribute now up top, Yes. It doesn't give them the chance to connect with the perk. At that point, they're making a straight donation to the campaign, which is, of course, wonderful, but we don't want that to be an accident. If someone wants a perk, we want them to obviously get it. So they should go through. I am through. so glad that you – excuse me for interrupting, but I'm just no. so glad you explained that because I did not understand that until hearing this. Yeah, that it's important. The bottom. Good, absolutely. Okay, and so – and I'm glad you shared about the featured perk because I wasn't sure I understood what that meant. And the featured perk will change. Yes. Often okay. even. <laughs> good, good. And uh, you've got 29 more days. Is that correct? Your goal is to raise, is to raise $60,000 or more mm -hmm. in, in, in the next 29 days. And you guys have got 10% already. That's yeah, phenomenal. Yeah. As of today, this uh, recording is being done on Thursday, January 21st. And as of today, you have $6,237 raised by only 71 people. There are thousands of people out there. Exactly. Yep. We're going to get this word out. I'm telling you, I'm just, this is awesome. Um, Thank you. 
I'm cur- I got to ask you about some of these perks. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, yummy. Please do. So yummy. All right. Three hundred dollars for just three hundred dollars, you can have a web hangout from home. Mm-hmm. And what I'm reading from the website, you know, some of the best conversations happen when you're in your pajama pants. I'm sure that that was uh, Christina who wrote that. Am I right? Yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> the writer. Um, joint executive producers Christina and Angie, one to two industry experts, and the four other Hangout Perk winners for a one-hour internet. So you're offering five uh, people this opportunity. Is that correct? And one of yes. five has yes. been claimed. Say a little bit more about what happens during the Hangout. So so let's say I I, I want to do that. I've paid my $300. There are five of us now, and we get on a, on a Google Hangout. Or, or Skype or whatever the, the platform is, mm-hmm. with a couple of industry experts. Mm-hmm. So then what sort of a conversation do you see happening in that Hangout? Honestly, like I think I think it will be driven by the, by the folks who select that perk. I mean, I think what we're committed to doing is being available and presenting with um, at least one or two industry experts. If we're lucky enough to be able to make the timing work where – it can happen while we're at a conference where there's a, more than that. We might uh-huh. be able to, you know, do a Skype hangout with, you know, four of us sitting together in one place and allow folks to be able to have kind of a, a more intimate Q&A to ask direct questions and have a real dialogue, you know, something Excellent. that allows for a, a little more personal conversation and a little bit more of a depth dive in terms of what I people can it. communicate. I would assume they could have get questions answered even about their own businesses or the, how they can best do things. I would That's I amazing. would have to agree, yeah, because the the expectation would be that that conversation is uh, belongs to the people on the call or right. on the on the hangout. So right. um, if they want if they're challenged by something in their business or if they are uh, trying to um, communicate something that they are having trouble kind of getting their heads around and they're looking for other perspectives on the same thing. You know, I, mm-hmm. I'll tell you what I'm, I always think about the, the folks who are bloggers and who are, you know, doing stuff that is sort of broader for the community. This would be an amazing opportunity to basically interview several people yes. and say, you know, here's what I learned. Um, yeah. You know, that it could be, it could be tremendous. One other thing with that too is once, you know, we find out who those five people are, we'll, email them, we'll ask them what they'd like answered, who they'd like to talk to, and hopefully by the questions we know they want to talk, that can help inform us of who we're going to pull on the call. That's smart. Yeah, Mm -hmm. that sounds great. Really tailor it to the uh, participants who bought this perk. Exactly. Yeah, and if the five of them say, yeah, we really want to talk about business or we really want to talk about uh, preserving our plants or we really want to talk about or just we want to pick brains, they, they can really tailor it to them. I think that's so such a good idea. Uh, we don't know yet who the in, we don't know yet who the industry experts are, do we? That's a surprise. We don't we don't know who they are. There might um, it may happen that there is um, that the folks doing the call we may have to do more than one. It, it, there's a chance that there will be people around the world, so there might have to be two just to make sure no one has to take their call at two o'clock in the morning. Yeah, kind of thing. <laughs> So depending on um, whom grabs it and where they are in the world and to some extent what the what their interest is, we will see to it that we bring the most compelling and relevant industry experts we have access to oh. to that hangout. I, I have no doubt. I mean, the people that you already have on board for the film is, is very impressive. You've got some of the most highly respected individuals in this industry, and I'm sure you'll be able to draw from that pool also for this, um, for the Q&A. Yeah. What's, what's special about that group of people, too, is, like, you know, we reached out to all these people months ago. And, I mean, not only did they say yes, they were excited. These experts, these authors, these educators are excited that somebody is, you know, doing this for the community because, again, it's we're all in this together. Yeah. You know, and they want their voices to be heard in a different way than just their books or their education, their classes. You know, we're asking them, you know, Christina mentioned it earlier, the three-minute video you see barely scratches the surface of what this movie is going to bring to our community. Yeah. There's such a variety, and I know that there are a lot more coming, but right now, there's such a variety of of people from all walks of this industry, and I am very excited to hear what they have to say. Yeah, agreed. So, going back to the perks, I love me some perks. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
I mean, it's like it's like Christmas. You know, I have this this catalog of things that not only can I, I buy and get some, some goodies. It's like, oh yeah, and I'm contributing to this incredible film. Mm-hmm. So we, I see, we've got some nice essential oil uh, bottles of essential oil. Just so you know, it's not that we have bottles of essential oil. It's a play on words. So those are the titles of our perks. So five dollars sweet orange perk is mm-hmm. um, a special shout out on the Facebook page. Fifteen dollar mm-hmm. peppermint perk is early bird access to watch the completed film online from home. Okay. Gosh, I read this thing three times, and I just sort of thought there was a bottle of oil included as well. Okay, good. <laughs> um, the eucalyptus perk, Aroma Head Institute's online class, How to Protect Your Family from Colds and Flu Using Essential Oils. That is a ber- beautiful perk. Yes, and it's a it's a crazy good deal. It's a crazy good deal yeah, the, so at, at the rate that it's offered. Mm-hmm. Okay, $50 is the rosemary perk. And you get a digital download of the movie to keep, five digital stills from the production, plus a PDF of movie, of the movie poster. Mm-hmm. Oh, plus you get the other perk. You get the eucalyptus perk. Very nice. Mm-hmm. And oh, just lost my page. The other thing, while my page is coming back, I got excited and hit the wrong button. <laughs> some of these are limited. They're, they're all limited, but some there are a lot of them. So, for example, I donated some e-books. I donated 50 because I want to make sure that there are enough out there for everybody to purchase them. Eight are gone already. So yeah. if there is something, so if you listening at home are interested in getting, you know, interested in any of these perks, get them quickly because they really will disappear fast. I see there are a lot of them that are gone already. There were a few that Sold we out. only had one of that were uh, that were uh, quite exclusive. There are a few more of those. Um, we really uh, we love having uh, a bit of a variety available of some things are, you know, a bit higher priced and more limited quantity. Other things are, um, are oh, my gosh, this is a crazy steal and you're never going to see this again. And, I mean, candidly, there are things there right now that we feel that way about, that we're, we're kind of gobsmacked. We, we can't, I, I, I wonder sometimes if people are, are scrolling far enough to really see some of the amazing things that are on there. Yeah. Um, because it's not just about, it's not so much just about contributing to the film, which of course is lovely, but some of the things people can get are unbelievable in terms of what they're available for. It's really, yeah. it's really beautiful what folks have done in terms of uh, making things available to us and uh, paying it forward to the community that's going to contribute nice. to the film. Yeah, there's some terrific online courses that people have made available. There's so much less what they what it would cost if you went to their website and bought it. We chatted once to three of us, and somebody, I think it may have been you, Angie, somebody said it feels like a like an aromatherapy Black Friday sale where there's yeah. these wonderful things that you can get at such a great price. Yeah, I and mean, we're just so blessed that these were all given to us by our industry colleagues and because they want us to succeed and it was just their way of contributing like you did. I mean, 50 of your ebook bundles, it's great because people are getting introduced to you if they don't know you. They're buying a product that they do know about that they just haven't, you know, had time to buy yet. So everything's just there in one place and people are introduced to the different educators that have given us classes. But again, I don't want anyone to hold out for the next perk that's coming because, like you said, some of these are going to be sold out. And as soon as we can, we're going to upload the new perks and just have some, you know, great things to offer people. Okay, going back to the perks, to the uh, specifics. Okay, contributing producer is $500. Become Mm -hmm. a part of Uncommon Sense Permanent Record. Your name will appear in the credits as a contributing producer and on our IMBD movie page plus a personalized slate shout-out from us on the set. What does that mean, a personalized slate shout-out? So the slate is, if you see on movies, it's a block square that you open the top of it and you clap right. it down. Like Take, take one. one. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> and yeah. we will write somebody's name on the Uncommon Sense movie slate, and we will be on set, and we will take a picture or a video of it and, you know, shout-out that person's name. Thank you to so-and-so for becoming our contributing producer. Here we are on set, maybe in Australia, if we're lucky enough. And uh-huh. give them a shout-out. We'll upload it to our Facebook page, email it to them, and that's, that's exactly what that means. Okay, that sounds fabulous. What fun. I mean, people are really going to be part of history. Their name will be permanently embedded in this historical project. And then yes. production assistant is you get to be right on the set. Oh, travel yes. set is not included, but they can be on the set. You'll share your donuts. That's hilarious. 
So say a little bit more about being a production assistant. I've got my eye on this one. <laughs> you know, we've already, we've, you know, we've interviewed Robert Cisterand and Michelle Lee in California, and we um, interviewed the folks on the panel that Christina talked about earlier, and it's just Christina and I and our small two-person crew, so it's four of us. So there's a lot of other things that need to happen, and we're stretched thin. So to have somebody else, another set of hands that's willing to hustle, you know, they yes. get to meet whoever we're interviewing. They get to hear the information firsthand before the movie comes out. They get to know what that interview is all about, and they get to help us, you know, whether it's holding a microphone, helping someone get a microphone on, getting them a bottle of water, running out right. to get us lunch, you know, getting us coffees yep. for Robert Kisser and who knows, the sky's right. the limit. And it's, it's meant, you know, we do want the help, but it's also really a fun, like if you're on set with us, Liz, we'll have so much fun with you. Oh my gosh. And it's just going to be an enjoyable moment for yeah. everybody to participate. Yes. And, you know, your name will be in the credits of the film and we want this to be a legacy piece. So forever and ever and ever. Yeah, uh, Bean will be able to see your name. Yeah, uh, my little Bean. Okay, your little uh, bean. my listeners also know about my little Bean, my grandson. <laughs> and then finally, I want to ask about the aromatic retreat. Mm-hmm. The retreats are intended to be uh, crazy, ridiculous pampering sessions, and they are set to happen um, east and west. Where east is um, with Angie at her place, and west is with me at mine. Obviously, oh. we will both be in both places. But that's what I wondered about. That excellent. Yes. that's good to know. Yes. So we will yeah. be here. And um, the idea is that what we'd what we'd like to do is create a, a the kind of weekend that leaves people's jaws on the floor in terms of an experience. So here where I am in Idaho, I can tell you, I, I can probably say more about mine than I can about Angie's. Um, where I am in northern Idaho, I would like to imagine that um, I have an herb nursery here on my property. I have an enormous classroom here on the property, so there will certainly be some classes and some blending and some... Oh discovery, but I think uh, if we're lucky, we ought to be able to distill while people are here. Um, yep. I have uh, some connections with, uh, you know, yoga instructors, Pilates instructors, uh, a meditation coordinator and facilitator. The idea is to create an experiential weekend where folks are kind of immersed in community, where we are, everybody is staying with, with me and with us eating in my kitchen, eating things that are sourced from my garden and from my farm, and basically living sort of a farm, a biodynamic farm weekend with aromatherapy and herbs and cooking and uh, wow. self-care and support. And our plan is to really uh, spoil the heck out of everybody that yeah. comes and uh-huh. invite as many other people as we can. You know, we talked about that hangout. We, we are certainly at the of the generosity, which has been huge, of the people that are already supporting the film. But my hope is that we could maybe convince one or two of them to join us also so that it could be, you know, uh, a celebratory weekend where everybody gets to spend the time together. I would imagine we will screen, if not the finished film, then certainly the footage that we have to date. So it would include a sneak peek. Uh Uh-huh. Um, and the plan is when we when we know more about who's coming and uh, and what they're most interested in doing, we will tailor that weekend to make sure that those people feel like you know um, they've been totally spoiled rotten. We're going to make those goodie bags at the Oscars look like nothing. <laughs> oh, this is I, oh gosh, it's so so tempting. And honestly, it's a two thousand dollar perk. It is medicinal, restorative. If uh, I would say if anyone is considering any kind of a vacation, a healing vacation, that would yeah. be that would be the best way to do it. Yeah, that's it. it would we, be a lovely retreat, and it is. I mean, we are talking about room and board completely covered. Once you get wow. here, we will take complete care of you. Nice, very nice. That's a beautifully generous perk. Oh my gosh, how to choose? So you talk about referral rewards. Mm-hmm. What is a referral reward? How would um, tell us more about that? Um, they are a way that uh, Indiegogo and we can uh, see to it that the folks who are uh, really actively communicating about the campaign and sharing the campaign, that they can be recognized for helping the campaign to move forward and to raise the, the, the funds that we've got. So um, effectively, we were sort of uh, candidly a little surprised by the fact that this is something that is is sort of automatically offered when you're signed into Indiegogo. If you share a campaign, it always links back to you. 
So we've right. had a little bit of a challenge because we didn't realize, and the last thing we wanted to do was um, was upend any group rules. But there are a few people who have communicated to us that it look it, it works similarly to an affiliate link. So we don't pay people for those referrals, but referral rewards is a way to say when this campaign has a successful close, we are going to do something both for the person who brings the most money to the campaign through mm-hmm. uh, through themselves and other contributors and the person who brings the most people, the largest number of people who end up contributing. It's a standard thing that that Indiegogo um, makes possible for people to do so that you have a way of encouraging folks to share the campaign. The challenge for us has been that, interestingly, as aromatherapy is uh, is commoditized and <laughs> and commercialized in some ways, there are many more ways that people can profit as affiliates. And there uh-huh. are a lot of rules in a lot of the places people talk about aromatherapy that prevent those kinds of links from being present. So we have been very careful now oh. to share the broader link for the campaign that is not a referral link. So if people want to speak about it in those forums, they can without without breaking any rules. But um, the referral rewards is basically a way to celebrate the people who uh, help us to have a successful campaign. So at the point we reach $60,000, you better believe we're doing something amazing for the people that have helped us make it happen. The people who worked really hard to get the word out there, to share, to talk about it, and to bring in people, they get rewarded as they should. And, and you know, if someone has a little competitive spirit, they, you know, they may want to really go for it. Because it says here, ridiculous, uncommonly awesome prize. Yes. Well, seeing what the perks are, I can only imagine how wonderful that would be. That's great. (laughs) Okay, so I got – I'm sorry, go ahead. Well, part of that, you know, we've said um, a few other times, all we need to hit our stretch goal is 10,000 people to contribute $30. And we do not know 10,000 people. So if the folks share with their communities, that's that's the campaign right there, and that's like the heart of crowdfunding. So earlier I said we just need 2,500 people to contribute the equivalent of a half a bottle of lavender. That's for 60,000, and we will be so moved to just keep the project moving forward if we hit yep. that goal. And then beyond that, by incentivizing folks to share, you know, for these referrals, if we can hit 10,000 people for $30, I mean, we will bring the most beautiful movie, global perspective. For our industry. Say that again, about 2,500 people. If they contribute equivalent to about a half of ounce of lavender, which is roughly Uh, around $20. Right. Okay. Wow. Well, so how do we get 2,500 people? We encourage people to share, share, share. Because I was also going to ask you if somebody, you know, maybe they've contributed money, but they want to keep helping. How or what are ways that people can share? Well, certainly the sharing is uh, is an important piece. They can share directly from uh, the Indiegogo page, which if they have contributed or they have an Indiegogo account will result in one of those referral rewards associated links. They can also use the generic campaign uh, address, which is that bit.ly uncommon sense movie that right. we talked about earlier. Um, the important thing that I really want people to understand about what's most powerful about when they share is that we're not actually just asking them to share the link. While the contributions are obviously important to the campaign, the most compelling thing that they can share is not just the link, but why this film matters to them. Why, yes. if they have contributed, why they contributed. What it was about what this film can do that um, that they're really invested in. I think that's one of the things that, for me, was so powerful about what Nissa has shared in her blog post at the Atlantic Institute. She had real transparency about her enthusiasm for the film, and it was intimate. It was not just, yes, this is a great idea. It's never been done before. It reveals a lot about how she personally invested in seeing the film being made, and I think that, for us, is it's far more valuable in terms of what that can do to transform just talking about the campaign into contributions. Is for people to say, look, I'm not just asking you to do this because they're friends or because it's happening and because it's a good idea. I'm asking because it means this to me. This is right. this is compelling and this is important and this is powerful and this can be a a driver for really great change for me in my work, for me in my hobby, for me in communicating with clients or being an educator. And the more people share and communicate that, 
I think the more other people will say, well, I want to see that happen too. I want, you know, even sure. if it's, you know, I want to see my friend Julie experience what Julie said she would get out of this experience, sharing why the campaign matters, because we really okay. think it does. Yes, I love that. People sharing from, you know, exactly what you said, why uh, why the film resonates. I mean, if somebody were to write a blog post, and that's one of the things I encourage people who are listening, if you do have a blog, even or if you have a Facebook page, Share with them about this project. Talk about them and talk about what part of your, you know, what part of it resonates with you. Is it because I want to finally people see this as a real thing? Yeah. That aromatherapy is a true, a credible modality. I want people to see that there are real serious people in this industry. Or is it because, um, I, you know, I finally want my family to see what I'm doing, but to, to understand what the heck I'm doing with these oils. Whatever, yeah. I would say whatever someone's personal, how it resonates with them personally, that's what they need to, to share about. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, um, absolutely. Yeah. And I would and hope all- that people will remember, too, that there is much more to the film than we have included in that in that piece about, you know, the, the pitch video communicates a, a little bit about safety and about some of the things that the individuals we spoke to are passionate about. But they're just a few of the people we've spoken to, and those are uh-huh. just snippets of things that they've said. There is so much about the transformational quality of aromatherapy and the esoteric. And I think the thing we really hope people will understand is that the broader arc of this film is uh, is aspirational and hopeful. And we believe that uh, the story that it tells will not only give people pause about how they're engaging, but reinvigorate and empower a deeper level of understanding. We're not just talking about dilution and safety and education and certification, there's a lot of conversation about sustainability, about sourcing, about the communities that are responsible for growing and distilling the materials that produce the essential oils that we love. We are, I mean, I'm stupid in love with essential oils. I mean, I (laughs) I say I am so crazy about them that I actually probably say less than most people precisely because I sound like a stark raving lunatic when I get started. (laughs) Um, But the people that are making this film are really, really profoundly moved by what this is all about. And if there's one thing I wish that probably did more to shine a light on it is that there is a sublime energy underlying the story that's being told here and it transcends concerns about safety and education i think you know we were talking about this with one of the participants the other day that to some extent the best kept secret about aromatherapy is the truth about aromatherapy as it is told by every single practitioner, because it's different for every single person. Mm -hmm. And this film, I think, is a way to invite people to a place where we say, come with us and listen with us to these beautiful stories that people tell, to the powerful experiences that they share, to the passionate concerns that they have, and the passionate desires that they have. Not everybody that's in this film agrees about everything, and that's part of its beauty. That's exactly what makes it wonderful, is that it is just as diverse and as rich and as, you know, confrontational in a good way of challenging models in all the best ways. This film is all that thing. It's just tough to grab it in three minutes. Oh, I'm so inspired just to hear you talk about it. I'm just like, what, isn't it done yet? <laughs> I can't wait to see it. So I had a question, a personal question for each one of you. It's the same question, and so you can, whoever wants to answer first. I know that this is exciting and you're in love with the project, and I also know that some of your personal lives are being compromised in the sense you've got to share this project with your family. I know, Angie, you have little kids, and uh, you both have husbands and, and lives even beyond your family. You have your, your practices and so forth. This has got to be a little stressful. Um, even even if even happily stressful, but how are you using aromatics to cope? <laughs> it's just me saying that I'm kind of emotional. If I get off topic, Christina, just jump in. But it's it is. I mean, Christina and I have been at this for nine months. It's yeah, it's remarkable the friendship that Christina and I have built. Huh. Um, 
<laughs> it's just, you know, it's it's a lot. We just were so close and we just, um, you know, I hear I'm going off talking about it, but it is, like, it is stressful what we're doing because we do each have our own stuff going on. I do have two small children and a husband and family. So, um, you know, I just use. I use, you know, either blends that I've made myself or simply a lot of times it's just lavender because I know it's safe for the kids. Um, bedtime, I have a bedtime blend. I use hydrofoil. And actually from your class, Liz, I still have some of the room protection spray that we made with this nice. sage and the sweet grass. It's one of my favorite. I don't have sage hydrosol, but I do have sweet grass hydrosol. So I put like one drop of sage essential oil in it. So I use that before bed on my pillow. Um, I use Roman chamomile and lavender in a lavender hydrosol, and I like to use that also as a pillow linen spray. Um, and then various inhalers to get me through, you know, the cold and flu season. Um, yes. And just, you know, sweet margarine is one of my favorite, just for an uplifting blend for uh, stress reduction. Beautiful. Yeah. I mean, I, I acknowledge that the emotion that you felt when I asked that question because – it's so easy for people to forget that it's really the two of you holding this whole thing together, and it's it's, you're, it's, er, it's early <laughs> days. <laughs> it's yeah. early days. Yeah. Thank you, Angie. That was awesome. And <laughs> Christina, how are you? Uh, yeah. How are you coping and, and using the using aromatics? Uh, well, I I have to admit I'm uh, I'm as much an herbalist as an aromatherapist. So some of my stuff is definitely you know blended teas and things that are are kind of touch points throughout the day of I have a a beautiful tea that's a winter forest blend that involves some of the things that can be found in the in the woods and wilderness near where I live and that's kind of a go-to throughout the the course of the day I'm a huge fan of uh, of aromatic baths I have a Mm -hmm. really big lovely bathtub and so when I can if it's been and I need to kind of disconnect it can be sometimes hard to not keep an eye on the inbox and the messages <laughs> or the phone. And I found that one of the few places I, I can honor the boundary is when I'm in the tub because otherwise I'll either drop the phone or be electrocuted. <laughs> so it's a, it's a good break. So I do aromatic baths and they change according to, um, you know, they're sort of responsive to what do I need. You know, I try yeah. to listen to what do I, what does my body and what does my spirit kind of need right now to be able to, take a breath and slow down a little bit and feel nourished on the other side. Yeah. Um, I have to admit that I have a weakness for the conifers. So mm. when I'm diffusing, there's it's been kind of balsam fir, siberium fir, Douglas fir, <laughs> white yeah, pine. Yeah, for the immune system and, you know, the immunity, your immunity yeah. gets shot when you're, when you're under the kind of pressure you guys are. Yep. Yeah, and it's and they're all good for breath. You know, they have a, a a wonderful kind of effect on breath. I'm a huge fan also of uh, mandarin, lime, and grapefruit when I need to feel I'm energetically smiling. One of those will often come into play to kind of introduce some brightness to the moment. But um, you know, I, I do have to say that I wish I wish I was doing more blending. I have completely left my own practice behind. I am only maintaining my wholesale clients. I um, right. I stopped accepting new clients when we picked up this project in earnest and the few that I had in Idaho because I hadn't lived in Idaho very long when we started here on the film. Um the few that I've had in Idaho have been very understanding that, you know, my focus has shifted a little bit. So uh I think, you know, I also look a lot to Angie just to you know, so sometimes Angie yeah. is my is my <laughs> You got it's my respite and my stress relief is just yeah. having someone else to kind of say, "Well, we might be a little crazy, um, yes. and uh, and we can't wait for other people to to feel crazy too." Right, <laughs> right. Well, the way it's going, it's I mean, it's absolutely moving in the right direction. And I've I've said from the beginning, this is going to be a huge success, and it's just a question of getting getting broader, just getting out there, getting more people involved, and getting more people just to even be aware of the project. I also wanted to ask if either one of you, if someone listening wants to have you as a guest, be on someone's blog as a guest about this project. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, great. Absolutely. And the fact is, you know, it doesn't hit, people are, we welcome connection and questions. And, you know, there's a lot, I think one of the worst things that can happen in the community in general, not just with this film, is where assumptions get made about 
motivation or what does this mean? So if folks don't understand something or they want to know more or they just want to reach out, we would love to hear from the community, love to Great. share more, but also listen to what they have to say. You know, the film is not made yet. <laughs> right. And so there's a lot of opportunity for us to listen to, you know, we have a responsibility to our contributors. If folks step up and help us to see this film made, it's not lost on us that we have a responsibility to deliver something that's compelling for them. So right. we're listening. If somebody says, you know, I want to contribute to the film, but I want to be sure that this is what it's there to do, um, it's not that it's not going to do something else. We're happy to, to talk that through to make sure people understand what where we're coming from, what our motivation is, what we intend for this film to be. And if there's something folks really want to hear about, obviously we'll shine a light on that if they help us to get to our goal. Excellent. Wow. Um, see, I just had this flash in my head. Wouldn't it be fun to make a blend for the movie? Like Because bl- I was going to ask you what oils represent the movie, but I thought, ah, that's too much on the spot. But maybe think about that. It's kind of like if you were to make a blend that represents this movie, and it may be too soon yet, and maybe, you know, maybe later on, kind of like what oils would be in that blend? So think about that, mm-hmm. but wouldn't it be fun to create a blend, an uncommon sense blend, with all the the symbolic flowers and um, the energy that's connected around this film? Wouldn't that be fun? I love that, that would, idea. You know, what I, you know what I would actually love to have instead I would love to have other people suggest what that blend would be for them. Because well, there we go. I think, if anything, uh, the film is probably metaphorically the shelf on which those blends sit. Because yes. uh, because in in making room for all of the different perspectives, I think that may be the best. That's probably what I would say is like, well, what is it right back at you? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. Well, maybe make that a perk. For $5, you can, you know, make a suggestion. Of course, it would be a blend with a thousand different oils in it. So. <laughs> <laughs> or just one on a shelf of many. I mean, we would, that right. could be an interesting thing to do. There's no doubt. So just with the contributions, just so you know as well, our lowest perk that we have is $5, but someone can contribute a dollar. You know, we know people are saving their money for classes, conferences, you know, books, other things. So, it, you know, a dollar, they can contribute that even though it's not a perk. If they just write contribute now and put a dollar, no amount's too small. It is the community. So if somebody wants to be a part of this that's in the community, you just can't do $5, but they want to contribute something, you know, a dollar or a perk or a share. Any of those things is just very valuable to us. Thank you. That's, uh, I didn't, I wasn't aware that you could go under five. So that's, I'm so glad that you, that you clarified that. Good. Okay. Well, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that we missed. Of course, we're going to, and hopefully we'll talk again as it goes on. And, um, you know, I'd love that. I'd love to just next time say, look at Dow, you're at, you know, $68,000. What are you going to do with all the money? <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> we're going to refer you right back to that graduated cylinder graph. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. I'm going to, to wrap it up here. Um, Angie and Christina, thank you so much for sharing this. I can't wait to get this out. It's just going to be uploaded and out very soon. And I'm going to put for my listeners all the links on there, all the ways you can contribute, you can share, and anyone can get in touch with either of you, again, if they have ideas or thoughts or anything that they want to share, right? And I'll Absolutely. Put that, yeah. Perk okay. ideas, ideas for the film. And if oh, yeah. and if people still have perks that they would like to contribute, you're still accepting those contributions, right? Yes, yes, we are. Good. Well, this has been so much fun. I'm so every time I talk to you guys, I'm just uh, like two feet off the floor because your energy, both of your energy, is remarkable. The way you feed off of each other and the way what you put out there in the world, and I'm so grateful on behalf of the entire aromatherapy industry that you guys are doing this for us. You know, it's Thank for you. us. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. We're so grateful for you and for this community supporting this film being made and supporting the campaign. We're really humbled. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful rest of the day, ladies. We will talk again soon. Wonderful. Thanks, Liz. Sounds good. Thanks, Liz. Thank you. (laughs) Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. I'm back. Wasn't that wonderful? How can you not get involved in a project like that? It has such a community spirit surrounding it, the energy of the aromatherapy community. All the links that were mentioned in the show are going to be in the show notes, and you can find those by going to aromaticwisdominstitute.com 
forward slash 020, because this is episode 20. Thank you so much for listening, and be sure to tune into each episode uh, to learn more about essential oils, hydrosols, aromatherapy. Uh, I may talk about my cats, my husband, my grandson. You never know. If you enjoyed the podcast, be sure to subscribe in iTunes, and you can go to aromaticwisdominstitute.com forward slash iTunes. And when you subscribe, you won't miss any episodes. And finally, to learn more about my trainings, you can go to aromaticwisdominstitute.com. That's it for today. Until next time, be happy, be well. <laughs>